Good morning, y'all. What is happening? It's wonderful. <laughs> it's wonderful that you're here. The openers for opening day. It's opening day, y'all. Oh my god. Ah, oh, we waited so long for this day. So long. We've we've done podcasts, articles, crafted our rankings, mock drafts, everything you can think of for months in preparation for today. No more drafts are being done. You have your team. You have your final, final free agency pickups that you can make, your waiver wire moves, all that kind of stuff. But it's today, y'all. It's a holiday. Exactly that. We haven't had opening day in the spring since 2019. It's been two years. It didn't feel the same last year. It really didn't. It feels different. It feels much better. And oh, thanks so much, guys. Yeah, if you didn't realize, I put out this um, this uh, well, uh, opus, mag a magnum opus of an article today. Um, saying, uh, April questions, well, is Jacob deGrom actually good? Uh, and, uh, what better way to kick off the month of April? Um, I hope you enjoyed that one. That was a product of, uh, of Trevor Huth. He's always joked that he wanted an article that was just that. And considering it's opening day, uh, where we didn't want to do something ridiculous, <laughs> something really, really ridiculous, and uh, confuse people on such an important day. Um, that was a really, really good solution. I'm really happy about that. But yeah, I, whew, I am, I am waking up. Um, I, I got my vaccine. I had the first dose of the vaccine yesterday. Uh, right here, in Moderna. Um, my left shoulder does not want to do anything now. Uh, it is just like a giant weight. It's just like there. I. Uh, and they, I think what they said to me was, um, so in about 24 hours, you're probably going to lose a lot of energy for maybe a couple of days or so. That's totally normal. Just, you know, don't do anything um, too strenuous or whatever. Like, it's, it'll be okay. And I'm thinking to myself, hmm, I got this. I literally got this shot at like 2 o'clock. I was like, is there anything I'm doing at 2 o'clock the next day? And if you guys don't know, uh, from 1 o'clock through the entire day, I will be here on Twitch live streaming as I watch everything. So, uh, yeah, <laughs> I hope I have the energy for it. I hope I'm not just like, yeah, just completely done. So, uh, please, uh, please bear with me with that today. Um, and Hey, crusher, uh, 524. Uh, congrats. Uh, you'll be fully vaccinated on Tuesday. That's awesome, man. That's really, really cool. I uh, good morning everybody see breezy good to have you here Felix it is opening day Sperry good to see you KJ yes we're finally here Justin Paradis I uh, so it's going to be subdued every single morning Justin because I am waking up with the stream <laughs> uh Ax Axilla 311 yeah happy holiday to you as well Blumble Speen um yeah thanks for uh, liking the article I uh, live like Nola Day, I will be wearing my Nola Day shirt later today. I'm wearing the um the pitcherless P today. I felt like you know that's that's full baseball. Uh, I, yeah. Oh my God, that would be the worst thing ever. Don't you dare even suggest it. I uh, good to see you, Asher. Oh yeah, tomorrow. Oh today, second vax shot. Oh that's awesome. Oh that's really really cool. Yeah, I heard I heard about Moderna Moderna number two. That's the end of April. So. So whatever, and it's it'll be a Wednesday, so I'll have like the morning, and so the Monday's like gauntlet out of the way and all that kind of stuff. So I'll be okay. I'll, I'll figure it out. But I appreciate the heads up, Trex. Um, I was talking to the guy at the site about how I don't really care which arm they give me the shot in, since I just sit at a desk all day. It's not like high school. Well, I would still want my left arm because I still like move the mouse and everything on my right. I feel more dominant, like brushing my teeth with my right, writing stuff. You know, I wouldn't want to, this is my, uh, like my, I remember my dad hurt his shoulder for a moment. He's, uh, does Kung Fu and everything. Like he's done it for like 30 years. 
could like you know open his own studio and stuff and he had his shoulder for like a, a couple months and he felt like he was losing his like weapon he felt so vulnerable because he didn't have you know that just in case thing which he's never used and i can understand that of you know like if you if you lose that that thing that you're so used to as like an extension of yourself i wouldn't like that so i'm happy it's this guy anyway hi so it's a it's it's the first of almost normal stuff um it's it's more so we got a um uh oh hey thanks for the follow uh yeah guys by the way yeah we are we're trying to unlock everything with this i added like the schedule below in twitch um so you can see like when the streams are which is pretty cool um and then i it's like being told you can't reference csw for a couple months oh god we have a csw leaderboard if you guys didn't know that um i know fangraphs added it which is still like oh my god um we have it for pitches and everything like that too um so you can always just go to uh uh our you know leaderboard which is just pitchhost.com slash leaderboard and um, we'll be updating those stats every night and stuff in season so that's really cool um but uh, actually, we should have a new version of the site right now that maybe I need to edit. I actually didn't think about that. But we uh, essentially, if you guys remember from last year, um, the daily fix and weekly rankings. Oh, cool. That's here. Sweet. Okay, so he only has four showing. Uh, it should be eight. Weekly rankings is here too. Okay, this is great. Um, this is really good. Uh, but yeah, we're now shifting from fantasy stuff to uh, the regular things that you guys know and love uh sweet yeah this is already like in place this is fantastic the other thing is also the front of the site um as i have is jacob Degram actually good uh at the front right now um if you notice the five like other articles to the to the right of it um as of now they're just kind of repeating what is the recent articles but actually we're going to make it so that we can actually sticky things there and they won't appear in the recent articles because we're going to have like I mean, like 15 articles a day or something. So, I uh, so looking forward to that. But um, but it's opening day. I'll be streaming here at one o'clock, and we're just gonna get to it. Um, so I have the first. Uh, you guys are gonna hear it, but Mark Paquette, Paquette Mark Paquette, uh, our weatherman from the first pitch podcast, has already sent me his opening day, uh, audio, which just makes me so happy. Oh, I, I was, I was, I've been looking forward to this. It, it wasn't going to feel like opening day, like in season until I got him. Mark, Mark saying, thanks, Nick. You know, Mark is back. Oh, absolutely. Mark is back. That was like the coolest thing we did last year. <laughs> and uh, we've been like, I remember four times, I think in the off season, I think the end of the year last year was like, Hey man, would love you back next year. And then like in December it was like, Hey, just want to make sure are you back? And like, yeah, cool. Cool checked into february like hey just want to let you know you, you're good and then like this week like are we doing this I'm like yes we're, we're doing this like let's go. it's just like so many times like i wanted to make sure mark was returning but all right let's uh, let's start making our notes because i also have to do the sb streamer today uh article today which is pretty cool so um all right let's let's i'm trying to figure out i used to be able to do this on my phone uh where uh nbc edge had a really good app um i don't think it's the same anymore uh yeah it's just it's just replicating the man it used to be so good it used to be so 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 good i uh, does anyone have like a really a really good baseball news app um i uh, so what's the cadence here? is this like a, a working session for you or more of a back and forth to the twitch audience it's both uh there will be times that like i will be like for example i'm going to record the podcast and i'm just going to record it but i will like maybe pause it a couple times to answer some questions that kind of thing uh, but the way i see it is like from 8 30 to 10 maybe sometimes 10 30 actually i will be needing to do work in the morning and I figured it would be best to do it while streaming with you guys. Um, and it keeps me honest and keeps me focused. Um, but also you guys get to see like the, the process involved with it too. Um, so yeah, ask all the questions you guys have. Um, I, I want to emphasize that if you've listened to me before, I'm trying to address every single comment I did. I, I, sorry, that is game posted. So yeah, ask all the questions for your lineups, all that kind of stuff. 
Um, some of them I might use again for, for the podcast, all that kind of stuff. I can't play Toto. Well, I play Toto when I do um, when I do my SP Roundup, which I'm doing tonight for the first time. And that's like that means the season's truly here for me. Uh, is when I'm actually reporting on it. And guess what? The Dev team has made an incredible um, process for me. I uh, and I uh, like oh yeah, stream schedule for tomorrow every single Monday through Friday, eight thirty to ten. I will be here. Monday through Friday. So yeah, it's in the schedule below. If you want to see like the, the, the Twitch widgets, um, you can see when I'm streaming. Uh, but uh, but yeah, the, the dev team made like the process of me writing the roundup easier than ever. Essentially, I get the stat lines and everything is there. I can write it with ease. And then it's also being sent to their player pages so that uh, I th think at the start of the next week or so, you're going to see the SP roundups inside of the game logs for every pitcher that has an SP roundup written about them. So like I write something about Marcus Stroman this weekend, you will see what I wrote inside of that game log when you look at it on the uh, on their player page. So it's pretty freaking cool. I can't wait for that. Uh, we've been like dreaming of that for so, so, so long. Um, and the shallow league, how far down the list would you consider guys must start or even probably start? Depends how shallow. Uh, and also depends on how good your rotation is yeah something i have certainly noticed um like i played in a hometown league uh like two years ago that i've been in for ages it's my uh, brandeis crew uh and i drafted with them last night i'm not going to criticize them but one of my friends like refused i was like hey who do you like what what do you use for prep and he listed like espn and yahoo and, and cbs i'm like what did i do man how did i <laughs> what did i do to you <laughs> I've known you for a decade. <laughs> you see this when it was nothing. All right. Um, but yeah, when you're in a, a shallow league, so essentially in that league, I generally always have like a really good pitching staff. Shocking. But I found myself a couple years ago um, wanting to start the fun guys too. And I found that I was actually essentially giving myself too much risk. If you feel really confident with, a, a, with the rotation that you have in a shallow league, like just start them. And don't don't take any risks you don't have to take. You can stash the others, but be a little more conservative with your um, with who you're adding at the back end because you have these aces and you know you have a lot of them, and you don't need to you know you don't need to uh, dilute the stats. You know what I'm saying? I uh, let's see here. Oh, <laughs> so Hamos. Hey, uh, Keep in mind, I'm gonna allow this message, but I, uh, but yeah, try and add the um, do alt one three zero uh, for the accented e, please. Um, I know everyone, everyone here knows you don't mean the the horrible slur. Um, can you start playing uh, the matchups on opening day? I have France, uh, Kike, I uh, Polanco, Dahl back on the bench. Um, you could I uh, Kike Hernandez if you feel like you're going to be behind in runs. I like starting him, uh, but it really depends on who who's in your lineup. Like, honestly, for the most part, you draft the guys that are probably better, and I'd probably do that. I mean, they're going against uh, John Means. Um, you don't sit your studs, especially early on. Okay, I'm going to um, continue the process. This shouldn't be a very long one, and generally I, I do it, like, on my phone where I – oh, yeah, okay. All right, so it's opening day. Now, if you guys don't know, I do like a, a notepad. I just write notepad. Uh, ben Brown gifting a sub. I uh, can see my wink over there. It's a wonderful wink. Uh, to Dan PL. Uh, does that change in head-to-head -head categories versus traditional roto for risk tolerance? I think it's really important in roto um, before the season starts is to look at your rotation. Say, okay, just give a loose projection of like, if I start everybody or if I just start these guys, what do my final standings look like? Then go to everyone else's and see if they're starting all their guys. Am I far behind? Like, what do I rank in? Like in wins and Ks and all that kind of stuff. Essentially, you need to get to a place where you feel like you are going to get like a 10 or so in Ks and wins or so. Or like essentially uh, a good point total there that you feel very confident in. Either that means don't pitch enough guys or pitch more. I mean, you got to essentially see on your on your league. Uh, close, Hamos. It's 
Alt one three zero uh, to get the the other E. But yeah, I mean, just, if you, if you just do that, that's I think that's better because I had to approve your comment. Uh, the moderator said no, that's an offensive word. So just even doing that will be better. Oh, gotcha. If you're on an iPhone, you can just hold down E and then it will. Uh, you want to select the 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 one that goes like that, not the one that goes like that. Happy opening day, David Fanko. Automat is an impartial god. <laughs> okay. Um, so Francisco Lindor signed. I'm not going to say anything more. Uh, I am going, should I throw in an April Fool's joke in this? I don't know. Yeah, there it is. That's it. Hey, most, you got the E. I'm proud of you. I feel like I should throw in an April Fool's joke. Hey, what's up, physics man? Uh, we get we have some disagreeing opinions here. Um, oh my god, no, I don't want any of this. Go back. Okay, I'm just gonna do it on computer. I miss I miss the old Roto World app. I really do. Perhaps you guys are not helping, Sperry. Come on. Oh god, never, never, <laughs> physics man. No. <laughs> I will not introduce it as pitcher's list. Oh, no. No. How can, how can I translate the possessive? I can't. The answer is I can't. Um, let's see. Okay, Kyle Lewis... With a right knee bone bruise for Kyle Lewis. Um, mm -mm -mm. Oh my God, the Rockies are signing Hulis Chassin. Of course they are. Andrew Vaughn is not in the lineup. Oh my god, are you serious? Andrew Vaughn can't hit lefties. Oh, sorry, can't hit righties. So he's only starting against lefties? Like, what is this? <laughs> um, I think that's just ridiculous. Okay. Uh, Akike Hernandez is great against the lefties. He gets one today versus Means. Another on Sunday versus Zimmerman. Good point. What is the best game tonight? That's a good question. Tonight specifically or today? Um, I'd say tonight it's DeGrom Scherzer. I mean, Giolito Bundy should be really fun. Oh my God. This is such a good day. Look at all of these amazing starts. You got Glasnow and Alcantara. You have Castillo and Flaherty. And oh man, the cherry on top. Kyle Gibson against Brad Keller. The Freed and Nola, Maeda Woodruff, Bieber Boyd, Cole Ryu. It's the best. Um, I'd say the best start. I mean, DeGrom Scherzer is just a classic. I'm really looking forward to Maeda uh, Woodruff and, of course, Freed versus Nola. Bieber Boyd is so good, too. Um... Is Brad Keller worth streaming? Absolutely. Yes, the Rangers are a bottom five offense. Like, I'm not talking about like top five versus like 100. I'm like, out of the 30 teams, they are 26, 20 or below. They are not a good offense. Uh, and Kyle Gibson hasn't done anything to prove that he's going to be like horrific in that first start. Um,. Oh, what's up, Jen? Oh, I'm so sorry. Oh, yeah, yes, uh, Asher. They will sign Shasim when you you least expect it. Exactly. Um, Fancy Pros is a decent news feature. Is it on your phone? Uh, I just want to be able to be like scroll through quickly, see the lines. Like I just want. 
Wait, what? He was like, yeah, I saw that. That I said he's ever four to five months. He goes, well, that's not good. <laughs> and that's it. And then he goes, like, went back to bed or something, Jen. Oh, my God. Cool, Axel. Uh, thanks a lot for that. I'll probably check it out tomorrow. Um, I was like, <laughs> uh, and then he went back to sleep. He probably won't, doesn't even remember it. Is this the room I've been? Oh yeah, this is the the room of death. Yes, uh, the fast as jokes as joked about. I. Uh, well, uh, yeah, it's got it's got those panels on both sides. It has a shag carpet. There's more stuff on the ceiling. There's a moving blanket against the wall here, so yeah, it, like blocks out the light and is also really quiet. Uh, it's a really it's it's a super super quiet room. Let's get that out of the shot. You don't want that. There you go. Um, we record using those things. So that I hit those buttons. That's where the money pitch sounds. You go bang, money pitch. It's pretty fun. Um, all right, I gotta I gotta make these notes. There really aren't too many notes, uh, which is very good. Uh, all this stuff I've already talked about, like Sixo Sanchez moving and um, all of that stuff. I guess I'm going to, huh? No, no, no. Okay, I need to make a pick before. Yeah, today's a weird one because I need to make the streaming pick before. Um, like, normally, I make my streaming picks, like, today and tomorrow, so I already have the reference point for the podcast, but I don't today. So, let's make a pick now. Uh, I got to check out Fantasy Pros to make sure the own percentage. I hate that it's own percentage. It should be rostered percentage. You know, I don't, I don't like the idea of ownership. It's not ownership. It's, like, it's rostered. Just, just, it's just bad words. Um, all right. I tried as best as I can to say like fantasy managers, not fantasy owners and, um, all that fun stuff. I, all right. Where'd you guys go? Okay. Uh, you better cover the one gra <laughs> grad all trade. Oh, that's fun. Um, so I'm just, I'm going to, so I do it under 20% rostered. Okay. So I don't think Keller, Keller's at 23. You have all these at 48. Oh, let me just, let me do Keller. Please. Let's just let me do Keller. Cause like, I can't, I'm not doing Gibson. That's the only other option or cool. Um, yeah, that's that's literally it. I mean, I guess I don't technically have one because I don't. Oh, I do. I'll have the article. Uh, oh, yeah, guys. Hey, please keep following if you can. We're trying to get to a thousand. I think it unlocks things, something like that. So if you can, if you if you're enjoying this, uh, definitely uh, give me a follow. Um, and uh, and yeah, if you can su subscribe, that'll be amazing, too. Uh, at some point, we'll have like hype train things or whatever those are. I don't know. I, uh, but, uh, and lastly, before we continue, if you don't have PL plus, uh, you should, um, it is the best place ever. You get no ads on the site. You get player notifications, uh, for your players on the site. So like an article that mentions your guy, you have your own personal feed of articles, which is amazing. And you get access to our discord where it's essentially unfettered access to me as fast likes to said, say, but yeah, you get the entire staff, so many amazing, uh, channels to help your fantasy team, uh, notifications of, home runs and stolen bases and all of our articles and podcasts. It's just the ultimate um, pitchless experience. So definitely, definitely consider supporting us. Pitchless.com slash plus. And hey, thanks Rick Picks for the uh, the Prime sub, man. Yeah, if you guys have Amazon Prime, uh, you get a free uh, Twitch subscribe sub subscription. Yeah, you can subscribe to something for free. So if you have that, uh, please consider giving uh, me a Twitch Prime sub. Okay. So it's going to be, uh, I'm just going to even mention it. It's Brad Keller is the stream. Uh, I'll, I'm probably going to go through each start in this because there's like nothing else to do. Um, yeah. Okay. I'm just going to do this podcast really quickly. Cool. It's, it's, it's really not going to be anything. It is free. Exactly. Rick picks. Uh, but yeah, thanks for the follow guys. Uh, custom stash. I uh, Cubs fan. Oh, Cubs fan. Look at you. Thanks so much, man. 
Thanks for using that on Amazon Prime. Um, uh, Cam Bergen, Burger and Fries. What's a Cam Burger? I don't know. Thanks for the follow. Uh, Colo72, thanks for the follow. Uh, JBS, uh, Ambrose, a, Am a moose. It's just a moose. <laughs> Uh, make awesome jb uh jbz uh chandler adams and saradron and tracks you guys are awesome uh it's a hamburger but my name is cam well that makes a lot of sense cam all right i am going to re start recording this it's a pretty straightforward one i think it'll be a lot more interesting tomorrow i uh, but uh let's get to this uh all right i have that up i mean what do i need to hit here um, I want, I'm going to go through every start today just to like, do I like this or not? Uh, and then, um, oh yeah, guys, this is the time. If you have any questions whatsoever, what is that? I just heard a noise. Oh, you're cheering. Oh, sweet Ben. Thank you. <laughs> if you guys have any sort of fantasy questions, now is the time to do it. I will feature them on the podcast. So and I'll give you a shout out and everything goes off to thousands of people. So these are a chance to be, you know, get your name on the podcast. So ask any fancy questions you want i will pick out a couple um to answer on this one we need a hype train yeah we gotta figure that out hey yeah sure thanks oh custom stash big how big pitchless fan oh it's awesome thanks man uh okay cool felix i'll answer that one I uh, send the money's recording. No, I hit mute. Don't worry, Ben. Don't you know you want to mess me up, huh? Get out of here. Oh man, who is the uh, the national player that got COVID? Does anyone know that? I'm just seeing if there's any last news that I'm just completely missing uh, before I go. Um, mm, mm, mm. MLB news tweets. There's like nothing to report. I mean, there was a scare, not a scare, but just a, like a lot of rumors about, uh, uh, the NL, sorry, the, yeah, NLDH happening, but it didn't. Um, okay. Oh man, no, I'm not drinking today. This is just, this is a pitcherless water bottle that doesn't, we can't sell it. I just bought one like for too much money because I just wanted it to exist. All right, here we go. <clears throat> so I got to mute you guys. I'm just going to do this podcast. All right, so we do no news really quickly. Uh, then I go through each starter and then I, as I say, I get my streams. Um, actually... I'll do the news really quickly, then do Mark with the weather, and then I'll do the streams. Yeah. Okay. What is happening? Welcome to the First Pitch Podcast, your morning podcast from Pitchless.com. My name is Nick Pollock. Today is April 1st, and we are going to talk about basketball that's the best I got. I don't know. April Fool's Day. That's it. But no, it is opening day. It is opening day. Yes! We waited so long for this. Um, it's it's going to be a wonderful time. I'm currently, of course, as you know, live streaming on Twitch right now. Twitch.tv slash PitcherList. I do it every single Monday through Friday, 8.30 to 10 o'clock as I do this podcast live, as well as taking your questions and writing the SP Streamer Ranking article of the day and i will be also streaming today from 1 p.m through the entire day so if you're listening to this first pitch podcast just come in just join me twitch.tv slash pitch come watch baseball with me it's going to be a blast yes i'm going to marathon through this because it's baseball finally we've waited so long for this i am so excited so what i'm going to do today uh, it's going to be again the last first pitch podcast that is abnormal I'm going to do some news. We got Mark Paquette with the weather. Uh, and then we also have uh, me going over all of the starts for today with, of course, my streaming picks. So, quick news. Uh, Francisco Lindor signed a massive deal 
$21 million signing bonus on top of the 10 years and $241 million contract. Sorry, $341 million. How could I miss that? Uh, Mets fans, I hope you're happy with that. You'll be about 37 years old uh, when, when that one is over. But, I mean, Francesco Lindor is such a positive energy there in New York, and I think you should be thrilled to have him there. As a Yankee fan, you know, because I wanted to be happy in life when I was a five-year-old, I, I'm excited for you guys. I treat the Mets like they're, you know, our little brother and we just want you to succeed. So good luck. Um, all right. Uh, Kyle Lewis hit the IL with a right knee, a bone bruise. So keep that in mind. Um, Andrew Vaughn is not in the opening day lineup. Zach Collins is in at DH. Lurie Garcia. Garcia is in left. However, Vaughn will start against the lefty Heaney on Friday. So Keep that in mind. But that's really it for news. It's going to be a lot longer tomorrow, I guarantee you. Um, but that's it for today. I mean, look, it's opening day. We have some amazing starts going, and we're going to get to that in a moment. But first, here is Mark with the weather. Thanks, Mark. Okay, so I'm going to now look at the starters for today and just pretty much go through my thoughts on all of them. A lot of them are just aces, which is great. Because that means we watch amazing baseball today. Uh, but I'm just going to go through it start by start and saying, like, would I start them or not? I feel like that's the best thing that I can do for you today. So we have Hyunjin Ryu against Garrett Cole. Just start them both. Those are aces. I know the Yankees are a tough lineup. But keep in mind that Ryu is the kind of pitcher that the Yankee lineup will have trouble with. They're really good at taking advantage of mistakes. But Ryu is a pitcher who doesn't make them often. High command guys generally can overperform against a lineup like the Yankees. Uh, Shane Bieber against Detroit. Yes, I am doing that. Matthew Boyd against Cleveland. I've been going back and forth on this one, and I'm going to lean yes. I think that Boyd is in a better place than I expected him to be. I'm doing it on the hype, and also Cleveland is not a good offense. So I want to have fun. It's opening day. It's fantasy baseball. I'm going to take a chance on Boyd here. Uh, John Means at Boston. He is not looking good right now. Uh, I know I've been hyping up Means a bit, uh, but I've also been expressing as, as of late the past couple of weeks that there are a lot of really good options and you don't need to reach for him. And uh, I was kind of hoping I could get Means at like the 17th, 18th round often. But he's been getting pushed to like the 14th, 15th. Uh, and I'd actually, I don't think I have, I think I have Means in like one league, maybe one or two. Um, as opposed to like the, you know, six or seven I expected. Uh, he gets Boston right now. I think it's just a little risky. Long-term play, John Means, I still believe in him, but I think I'd be conservative where I could be with Means. Uh, look, really, I got one. I really do want to emphasize the Red Sox offense. I have him as a tier two as opposed to a tier one. I think I can quickly push him up into tier one. Uh, Kike Hernandez is looking great. J.D. Martinez should have a bounce back. Xander Bogarts is still fantastic. So is Rafael Devers. Christian Vasquez is a solid bat. I mean, I'm sure I even forgot about someone else, too. Franchi Cordero is really good. Uh, they have a solid, solid lineup, and that can prove very troublesome for John Means, who isn't quite there yet. Uh, Nathan Evaldi is on the other side. He would be a streaming option, but he's rostered in over 40% of leagues. So, yeah, that's not really a streaming option. I personally treat them around 20% or so as, like, the, the threshold for my streams. Um, but, uh, oh, guess what? Actually, Twitch is helping me out. John Means versus Evaldi just got postponed due to rain. So, look at that. Uh, I take it all back. Uh, I, I would be starting Evaldi against Baltimore. I believe that would be tomorrow. Uh, I would be that one. Actually, you know what? I'm going to stop right now. Uh, just for a second, I appreciate you so much for saying that. Oh my God, this is really why I'm doing it, right? I do they have a game tomorrow? Um, do uh do the Red Sox like do they have an open day tomorrow? Uh, yeah, it is raining here. Um, I need to double check then if Boston has off tomorrow or not. They do. So that's going to be postponed to tomorrow. Uh, there are, are there like two games that repeat. I. Uh, okay. Here we go. 
So with John Means and Anthony Valdi, well, that start has been postponed, likely being played tomorrow. Keep in mind, actually, I should say about the Yankees and Jays, that could be postponed as well. Keep that in mind. And yeah, before those lineups lock at 1 o'clock, just double check to see uh, if you actually can maybe sneak in a different bat instead today. Uh, moving forward to the middle of America is Kentel Maeda against Brandon Woodruff. Start both of these. I mean, it's a fantastic matchup for Maeda. Woodruff a little bit tougher with that Twins offense. You still obviously go and do that. Chad Cool is against Cal Hendricks. Cal Hendricks against Pittsburgh is a dream come true for opening day. We could have the Cal Hendricks rule again. If you remember last year, I believe it was a complete game shutout with double-digit strikeouts. Everyone was yelling at me. To raise Kyle Hendricks up in the ranks in the next week, he allows six earned runs. Keep that in mind, of course, the first week of the season. And on the other side, it is Chad Cool against the Cubs. And sadly, Cool's fastball has not been as hot as it was back before Tommy John when he was throwing 98, 99 at times. It's more like 94. And that, to me, isn't enough to trust against the Cubs, who are actually, I think, being a little bit underrated as of now. You have Max Fried against Aaron Nola. That's a wonderful start. Kind of tough for both of them. Aaron Nola against the, uh, against the Atlanta offense. That's a good offense, but it's Aaron Nola. It doesn't really matter. Uh, Max Fried against the, the Phillies. I, I don't know how I feel about Phillies right now. Sorry, the Phillies bats at the moment. But, yes, you are definitely starting Max Fried there. Clay Kershaw is in Coors. I know you have a little question mark about Coors. Arenado is gone. Uh, yes, guys, you are starting uh, Clayton Kershaw. Now, Herman Marquez in cores against the Dodgers? Absolutely not. Absolutely not. No way. Um, you have Yu Darvish going against the Diamondbacks. Duh, that's amazing. While you have Madison Bumgarner on the other side uh, facing the Padres. Madison Bumgarner was pitching at 90-91 earlier in the spring. Came down to 89, which is still higher than the 88. But he's not the finished product. I think actually Bumgarner is going to be someone about three, four weeks who's going to be dropped. And then you can actually add him to your teams if he is showcasing that higher velocity. So definitely monitor Mass and Bumgarner, but do not start him here. Um, Jack Flaherty and Luis Castillo. Yes, just start against each other. That should be a really, really fun matchup as Castillo gets the Cardinals and Flaherty gets the Reds. Uh, <laughs> Kyle Gibson against the Royals. That might be the sneakiest start there is, but no, I think the Royals' offense is a solid team. Uh, and Kyle Gibson, while he does have his moments when his slider and changeup are both working, I would not be taking that risk. While Brad Keller against the Rangers, that is my streaming pick of the day. Yes, it is a 23% uh, uh, rostered uh, clip for uh, for Brad Keller, but you're going to let me do this one because I don't have any other options. Really, it's Gibson or Cool and Keller. Let me do Keller for this. <laughs> I I would be starting Brad Keller in this one. It's why you drafted him for this start. Tyler Glasnow is going against Miami. That's obvious, and I can't wait to watch that slider go. Sandy Alcantara is on the other side against the Rays. That's an obvious go. Jacob deGrom against Max Scherzer. I mean, amazing, amazing television and entertainment. Just watch that game at 7 tonight. Giolito against Bundy. Now, Bundy against the White Sox is a little bit shaky, and that's not an auto start for me. I think you still do it if you drafted Bundy. But if you can be conservative in a very shallow league, I would be there. Uh, Lucas Giolito against the Angels, though. I'm 100% starting him. Uh, you have Zach Greinke and Chris Bassett. I don't know if I'm starting Bassett against the Astros. Uh, I think it's not a high enough reward to start him. It can work. It can be like 5.2 innings of 2 earned runs or something like that for Bassett. But I, I think... I wouldn't really risk it, personally. I would go Zach Ranke against the Athletics, though. And lastly, you have Kevin Gaussman against the Mariners. That is an easy start. Uh, while you have Marco Gonzalez against the Giants on the other side, yes, you do start him there, despite what I've said about Marco Gonzalez and the Giants' offense being somewhat competent. It was, I believe it was a top-10 offense last year, and, and we see Yaz is inside of the opening day lineup. So it's not going to be the easiest road for Gonzalez, but he should do a good job there. But, <clears throat> oh yeah, right, now I'm going to take a question or two, uh, do, 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 do. I don't have anything on Otani, I am so sorry, Felix, uh, I had a question that I wanted to answer, hold on, um, okay, so I have a couple, alright, I have this, this is a good question, thank you, um, cool, I'll take this question. 
and it's pretty cool to be able to just like stop it um and uh do this okay oh i see felix already answered your question on the stream um all right cool all right i'll, I'll use this one too All right, every day I take at least one question from the Twitch chat uh, to answer on this podcast. And we have a couple today. Uh, first one's DJT1615 asks, who would you rather have, Heaney or Bassett? I would say the upside of Heaney, um, and I would say like starting May 1st, I would rather have Heaney. Uh, he is a guy that has had a whip better than 130 for the past three years, has a solid strikeout rate. But at the same time, Bassett, after his first two starts, they're going to be a little bit shaky. He does get it a much easier time. And I think he's a safer play. So it depends on what you want. Do you want the strikeout upside or do you want just kind of more secure ratios essentially uh, with Bassett? Um, Hamos 325. Who's, who's a better week one stream? Carlos Martinez or Jose or I would say Jose or uh, The athletics are with heavy team. Uh, even though he might not go as long as Carlos Martinez. Yeah. I still think I want to do or Uh It's close. It's very close. It, it, like or first starts, likely going to be his worst uh but you just don't know where carlos martinez is at is he at 94 miles per hour i don't know is he not it's just ugh. it's very confusing uh, and lastly a custom stash asks i'm in a save plus hold the league otherwise known as solds does it make sense to get set up guys over actual closers i would say um it's a lot cheaper I've, in general people don't value holds guys as much as closers i mean they shouldn't Closers are more consistent than it is than firemen are, but uh, you can get incredible discounts uh, for holds guys. And if you know me, I don't like paying for saves a ton, uh, like many many others inside of this industry. So I uh, so yeah, I would probably go on the uh, the hold side and just read Rick Graham's uh, article every single week. The best guys for saves plus holds. You you'd be surprised how many incredible gems you'll find on the waiver wire. Like guys will be ranked at forty seven that are rostered, but then all of a sudden the guy at nineteen isn't, and that's yours on your team now. It's wonderful. Um, but that's gonna do for today. Remember, guys, I do this on Twitch Twitch TV slash PitcherList uh, every Monday through Friday. I'm gonna be here at one o'clock today on opening day to watch all the games. You should be getting PL Plus and supporting the website as well. Go to PitcherList.com slash plus. But that's going to do it for today. So my name is Nick Pollock, and that is everything you need to know. Cool beans. Let's do some editing. Okay. Uh, the first thing I need to do is I need to find that Eovaldi section. So. I take it all, back. Uh, all right. So that's the. Okay, yep, 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 yep. Right. Okay, so I'm going to cut out the original discussion of the Red Sox and stuff and then do that again. Cool. I think I said like Anthony Uvalde. <laughs> well, that's what it is. Okay, I. Good, good, good. All right. And then I have the space for, uh, all right. You guys aren't seeing, sorry, you got, I, I didn't share my screen today. I, I'll, I can do it now. Um, uh, hold on. Hey, there it is. Um, so you see, I have this gap here. That is Mark. So did Mark send me the, the good file? Hope he did. No, he didn't. Ugh. All right. Well, that's fine. I forgot. I'm trying to remember what the process was for me. Or maybe he did. 
Does does this work? No, it doesn't. Okay. Wait, what? Thanks for having me back for Major League Baseball. Can't wait. Okay. Um, actually, you know, I'm not supposed to do this yet. I got to get him. I got to enhance him too. Uh, so wait, why can't I just... What is wrong with this? Um, I think I need to put it through the uh, converter. Got to install an update. Okay, okay. It's been so long since I've done this. Oh, it's it's saying it's an MP3, but it's not. So, like, that, that's what's going on. Okay. Um, sure. Sorry, I'm, I'm up. <laughs> I have, a, I have a, a, a program called Media Human Audio Converter. Essentially, uh, Mark sends me a ACC, AAC file. I'll have to convert it into an MP3. It's saying it's an MP3. It's not an MP3. That was the problem. That's why it was showing it blank. And now I have it here. Um, so essentially, I go to this. I get rid of his beginning. Hi, Nick. Hey. Hi, Nick. What's up, man? Good to have you. <laughs> I'll talk to you tomorrow. Thank you. Bye. I get rid of the bye. Talk to you tomorrow. Thank you. I'll talk to you tomorrow. Beautiful. All right, we go like this. Hi, Nick. I need more space there. Okay, so cool. So now we go like this. Remove that and then, whoops. <laughs> I feel like, uh, I don't know if you guys know the, um, cut and then paste. Uh, yeah. Beautiful. So now I do all of it and then I can do the wonderful application. Uh, um, do I know any other one else on Twitch? Yes, yeah, Spore definitely does it. Yeah, he does a lot of the show stuff. Uh, he's way better at this than I am. <laughs> um, but otherwise, I mean, I don't really know too many that are doing this. I know some guys are doing some Streamyard stuff. Like I know KC Bubba does a lot of a lot of things. I mean, yeah, I like Paul too, man. Paul's my boy. Uh, Justin does some streaming stuff of like mock drafts on YouTube. But as far as Twitch and everything, um, I mean, I think you guys know this about the, the fantasy baseball industry. It's starting to come around to technology. But it's a very kind of like, I mean, it's like baseball in some ways. It's a very old school um, thing. So I, I keep trying to, <laughs> I keep trying to push uh, people to do this stuff. Um, oh, I, okay, so I did the, the things. I forgot that I got to do the, the theme. By the way, I just want to, quick shout out to Dave Jeremy. He says, sometimes I think I'm a good analyst, and then I remember just how good Nick Pollock is. Take the time to read this deep, deep dive into analytics, data viz, spin rates, and so, so much more. Just brilliant work, Nick. This is in response to the Is Jacob deGrom Actually Good article. And if you haven't seen it yet, I this is... Uh, this is it. So here you go. Here's here's your <laughs> here's your homepage right now. You know, is Jacob Degrom actually good? Well, let's find out. Oh, is he is he good? Yes. April, <laughs> happy April Fools, everybody. I uh, Dave is hilarious. Okay. Um. So now I need to put in the theme, you know, the guy that goes like Nick Pollock. <laughs> it still cracks me up that we have this. I don't know. There's something that just makes me really happy that that this exists. 
Um, I gotta do this. I gotta do both of them. Uh, at the same time. All right, so what did we establish yesterday? That's there, right? Oh, yeah, right, right. I got. I forgot the bottom one. <laughs> that was chaos. All right. Uh, Tell get that's not the one I wanted. I want this one. Good. Okay. And then the end is this, just to make sure. I generally don't even listen to it another time. I'm, I'm like too confident by the end, but I just want to make sure we're all good. What that's gonna do? Is that okay. <laughs> oh man, it cracks me up still. All right. Um. Why is that so small? Okay. I know. I know. I'm not gonna say the line. Cool, gotta create the yeah, load first bitch podcast. There that is. You can export that. We're gonna put it into Omni. The goal every single day for the first pitch podcast is before 9 30 get this live. So I know I dawdled a little bit today. I feel like I feel like you guys will see like how quick I can do this. Um and then I, so I gotta go into Omni. It's a wonderful, wonderful thing, Omni Studio. I really, I cannot emphasize it enough, like how lucky I am to use Omni. Uh, it's just, it just has so many things that makes it so helpful. And we should be all set. Anything I'm forgetting? No, no, no. processing i mean first of all it uploads faster than before which is wonderful um it has all these incredible features makes it really really simple to do i can create things like have it on one feed or like if you guys want by the way there's an individual feed for the first pitch podcast and it's also on the main feed and you can just do that just by uploading once literally that's all i do i just upload it to the the first pitch podcast feed it automatically takes it and puts it into the main feed it's a brilliant thing and just makes life so easy. Okay. So I, uh, now I need to write the SB streamer article, which I haven't done in a while. <laughs> and I don't know how this is going to go. Uh, I feel like I'm going to struggle a lot. So, um, I'm going to, yeah, we'll get there in a second. I, uh, let's see here. Am I forgetting anything? Okay. Um, our Discord is the best place on the planet. Thank you, Ben. It is it is very true. All right, what did I miss, chat? I, I'm scrolling back up. I wanna I wanna not miss anything here. Uh, when do I think Sixto will be up? Probably. I would say the end of the second pass of the rotation for the Marlins. That's my guess. Like they're going to. I. Uh, I think they only. Need, they only need four starters the first turn of it. And then by the end of the second one, he'll be up. That's my guess. Um, let's see. I uh, so Felix, as far as collabs with other podcasters, I mean, my collab right now is Nick Pollock and Friends every Wednesday. So if you haven't listened to that podcast, it's really, really fun. I get to just kind of hang out and talk about the craft with everybody. Um, when if you're talking about actually like fancy analysis and stuff, uh, I might be bringing back Fireside with with the Spore. We'll talk about it. But uh, and yeah, the the Rates and Barrels pod was unbelievably fun, just from like a personal uh, career marker to me. The fact that like, oh man, Eno and DVR are so freaking good, and I've looked up to them for ages. So that was such a really that was such a good moment. Um, <clears throat> I uh, a great piece deserves an award. Thanks a lot, physics man. I uh, <laughs> you're funny, Ben. Um, oh, that's awesome, custom stash. I uh, oh sweet, yeah. I, I'm excited to do this. Uh, I mean, I've I've thoroughly enjoyed. This is the fourth one 
since starting on Monday. I've thoroughly enjoyed these morning streams. I feel so much better waking up uh, like this with all of you. Um, oh, thanks a lot, Magogo, for putting the uh, the link here. Uh, Ambassador Kimbrel in a weekly league. I would put Kimbrel personally. Or Keedy or Davies for the first week. CJM Bucks, that is Davies easily. Um, without a doubt. Uh, ba Baltimore, Boston is postponed completely. So tomorrow, I, uh, Irish. I'm just going to call you IPM. If that's okay. Uh, do you plan to get a Discord too to build a community? Oh, yeah, yeah, we already addressed that. No, no, we, yeah, we have it already. <laughs> it's awesome. It has, I think we have over 800 members. Um, we've had that Discord since 2018. Actually, it was a Slack in 2017. And then we moved over in the great Discord migration of 2018. Um, I typically work solo. I was going to go headphones and listen all day. Cool. Uh, yeah, man. I mean, I'll be back here at 1 o'clock, guys. But uh, in the meantime, meantime, I got to write this article. So, uh, first step I have to take is essentially uh, cloning the articles from last year. Um, if you guys don't know, um, while working with WordPress, if you guys have any questions about... Because I haven't done this part yet. This is a, the other half of the stream is going to be happening in season. Uh, is uh, I will be publishing my you know streaming ranks. So if you have any questions about like writing inside of WordPress, creating your own um, things that I've instituted inside of WordPress, because there are so many little things that I've added and um, adjusted on the site to make our lives easier and better. Uh, please just um, you know, reach out, ask any questions you want, because I love talking about this stuff. Uh, okay, so um, can I show the back end here? Let's see. Let me see if I can show the back end without like too much. <laughs> I let's see here. This should be fine. Okay, cool. So look at all these articles we have ready to go, right? I uh, we have a ton of different categories. Um, SP streaming rankings, sweet filter that okay so i could just take any random day here um we have a clone tool i cannot express enough uh i believe it's duplicate pro is one that we have i let me let me double check what it is for you but i can't express enough how useful that tool is it's like it's a necessity uh, it's called, oh, we have Yoast duplicate post, I guess is what we use. Um, but it's, it's so, so, so good. Okay. So yes, this is what I'm going to be making is this, uh, you can see kind of how it's structured, um, like this, uh, the question smiley scoobal or Logan, Logan Webb long-term. That's a very, very tough question to answer. I personally, I'm fine with Smiley or Logan Webb. Um, I would take Smiley first. Because Smiley is like, in some ways, is a Vargas rule. Of like, you're just going to keep starting him until he showcases he doesn't have his velocity anymore. Logan Webb is more exciting. And it's more of, I feel like there's a similar reward like Smiley. If, in some cases, I can understand the argument of a higher one. But I there's a lower floor and there's more risk involved with it too, right? Uh, Cease at LA or Web at Seattle. I would take Web at Seattle. Guys, I really want to emphasize that that Cease start of 11 strikeouts was against like the worst lineup possible. It really, really was. It was terrible. Yeah, it's 96 for the year uh, at PL Plus. Yep. Uh, that turns into eight bucks a month as opposed to the normal 10. Um, you get essentially it's, you know, it's removes all the ads, <laughs> which is lovely. You get, of course, access to the full discord, all that kind of stuff. Um, uh, you get player notifications. Uh, you get more. I can't remember. There is a, I think a 10% off merch discount too. Can't remember that. Maybe, maybe that's not a thing anymore. Um, we'll see. Anyway. Uh, okay, cool. We have a new graphic here. Look at all this. Look at this is so beautiful. Okay. Um, where is this one? 
I might actually need to message someone for it. Oh, they didn't get added to it. Okay, I got to go into um. Yeah, I'm taking my sweet time right now, and I really shouldn't. I got I got to rush. <laughs> um, that's breath of the day. Now see his pitches, batter's box, bullpen depth chart. Uh oh, right, Quincy. Okay. Uh, yeah, Quincy did a really good job with it. We had to make one small edit to it. Um, so that's why I was looking for that. Adam, hi. Adam, how? Oh, it's because of the, uh, yeah, what's, what's been made. Okay, so anyway, so what I need to do um, is I have to make a, uh, essentially what I do, I think what I do is I go into like, I need to make some generic, um, I, yeah, this is what I do. I go into this thing. It's just, it doesn't really matter. I just need to make, if you notice this one is blank. Um, but I need to make a table essentially. So how did I do it last year? Cause I'm going to keep it for you guys. Okay. So it's rank pitcher matchup. Cool. So I have, cause of Colin Charles, who's the best I have this. And then what I do then is rank pitcher matchup. And I just start throwing them in. I let's do this. That's one. I think this is better than literally. This is the process. It's I know it's incredibly exciting, <laughs> uh, but this is what it is. Um, well, this isn't happening, so we're gonna get rid of that. Uh, do, 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 do. I think Kyle Gibson. No, no, this is the worst start you can do for yourself, probably. This is down there. Kyle Gibson. I can see a world where it works, but I don't want to do that. I'd rather do Bassett than this. This is the streamer of the day. Um, I'm just, th I'm just throwing again. I'm just throwing things in. These are, these are not the final ones process is to just start creating things i'm probably gonna have to do this uh this is a little shakier uh, that's gonna be up there this is gonna be up here it's gonna be higher over there a little shakier better okay so now we go from the bottom. Do I prefer Dylan Bundy? I uh, okay. So Bundy is gonna be like whoops. Oh no, Nick. Come on. I my my large fingers are messing everything up. Um <laughs> I okay, so I think I'd rather do this. Any of these worse? No. I think I'm safer doing this. And then it's that. I, I f do I feel better about this? No, I probably feel better about this. Um. And now it's just like Ace Town, right? Nah, I do Ryu over the yeah over Alcantara. Even though I love Alcantara, you guys know that. <clears throat> What is the, the shakiest one here? It's probably this. And then this. Yeah. Um, these are all aces. I mean, this is like... <laughs> who cares? Uh, I'll move this over for you. Um, uh, do I play Daily Fantasy or give Daily Fantasy advice? I, it's kind of funny. I did on TV for three months with Madison Square Garden, uh, but I just don't, <laughs> I don't actually play it. Andrew Gould does. And inside of our discord, we have a DFS dedicated channel. Um, Bauer Darvish or Flaherty. I mean, this is, 
Uh, I, I've ranked Darvish above for this season, so I'm just going to stick with that. Uh, I see a C plug 2-2. Two, two, two. Uh, you're awesome, man. A happy opening day. Thanks so much for being a part of this. And I want to say uh, good morning to Jordan White, who apparently I did not give a good morning to yesterday when he said good morning. So shout out for that. Um, let's see here. I Yeah, there you go, Ben Brown. Awesome stuff. I... Yeah, we, we had actually plans for uh, a full DFS section of the site, um, but we decided to scrap it uh, before opening day next year. I mean, we, we essentially we have like much better things planned in the future, and I felt like I wanted to reveal a DFS that I was like really excited about as opposed to just kind of a generic one. Uh, so we, we scrapped the DFS stuff we were going to provide. Um, and uh, I can't wait to show you guys what we are doing for it next year. Anyway, I uh, with all of this, I uh, I feel like, I mean, this is such an obvious start. It's not even close. Um, man, this is all so good. Are you going to be upset with me based on the ranking of this? Because I cannot decide. Okay, all right. I'm gonna do you here. Um, you here, the Mets and the, all right, I'm just gonna, yeah, this is fine. No, you go above here. Okay. We're just going to do this. Uh, my reasoning is that Milwaukee and Pittsburgh are really um, I mean this is all pretty even but yeah it should be this that's fine matchups so you're playing the matchups here and then these guys are both just dope and then so is he and so is he I mean this is pretty even so actually let me swap this let me actually do this yeah, there we go. Now I feel better about this. And then this should be... Okay, cool. Yeah. I mean, this is such a good matchup. This is such a good matchup. I actually am, like, tempted here between these two. But no, it's it's Cole. You just don't do that. Um, all right. So what I do now, what I love about uh, this is I can just go like that, which is just so wonderful. Um, I take this. We have uh, this, um, which is a table maker. Uh, and we are improving this, fortunately. Actually, uh, what's really cool is I'm working with our UI, UI guy uh, to actually design some really, really cool stuff um, to make our tables not only like the process of creating. Oh, thanks a lot for the sub, man. Uh, oh, Kyle. Oh, my God. You said you'd do it. Okay. Um, <laughs> I, but this is a this is like a tool that Pitchwell staff can use um, to make tables and everything. So, like, you can see on the back, you, on the side. You actually can't kind of see it right now. Uh, no, do not move that. Um, but you guys can kind of see, like, we have that stuff to, to help out and, like, color the tables and everything. Um, but I... But we're going to improve this. And then also the formatting on the site is going to be like the tables are going to look prettier and everything too, uh, which I'm very excited about. Um, let me do that for you guys. Okay. So, um, actually, I want, I want those. I'll just move those. <laughs> okay. Uh, so what I do now, I'm trying to improve the, the streamer articles for you guys so actually what i want to do is i want to go here and wherever there is a teardrop to actually like let you know uh so i can actually do things like uh i want to i want to do this this year so we have must start Uh, 
I'm, 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 I'm be making it really straightforward for you, for everybody though. So don't get too like, I, uh, um, yeah, don't get too picky about it. Um, I auto start, which I mean, it's really three tiers is like, maybe four. It's like, do not start, um, questionable start and probably start. Uh, no. What, what, how should I phrase this? Do not start. I'll just do that. So there you go. This is actually what the... So I go to the table maker. I can do this. Um, right. So I, I think I have an expand. Whoops. That's not it. <laughs> no. Okay. We're going to try this again. Hold on. Okay. Oh, you know what? I should I should just yeah, 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 I'm being dumb. I'm being very dumb. Do not merge these. Fine. I do this. Put this in here. Preview. Yeah, there you go. And then I can just go like this. Okay. So those are your tiers. Um, that helps immensely, I imagine. This is like what the most... Uh, the Tailmaker is a gun said, uh, Sperry. Um, Max out. That's funny. Happy opening day, D. Ramsey. I uh, happy op happy opening day. So this is pretty much how the entire thing is going to go. Then my streamer pick is here and that's the yellow one, right? And that's it. That's that's the article. Uh because I think Boyd is rostered in too many. Uh, I got to double check that. So that's like that's the ranking for this one. I have to do tomorrow's. Um what's interesting is I only have to do one every day. Uh for the most part. Uh, which is very, very helpful. Uh, I'm very excited to actually like get into a groove with this once again. Um, oh, these are all... Oh my god, I have, it, I have it as hitters. I just gotta double check Boyd's... Yeah, he's at 39%, so I can't make him one. Okay. So I generate this, and then I stick into my... into here. Cool. Now I and I'm gonna do this. I'm just not I'm not even doing the same thing again. I feel like just the tears. So um I gotta change this for one and for two. It just <laughs> change that URL. Um so here's the thing. I, I'm going to be writing stuff about this. So that's only about like today's starters, I think. Uh, so like I'll have notes on this and I guess I'll have notes on that too. Tomorrow's starters is the annoying part. Uh, I think actually, wait, does Colin have it? Colin does. Oh, you are the best, Colin. Uh, so cool. Oh, does he? Ha oh, I'll ask Colin to do that for me. That would be really, really sweet. Uh, Colin has made a, an amazing spreadsheet, by the way. Um, this is available inside the Discord. Um, 
it's it's an amazing thing so you can see like this is where i can make my quick table which is so great uh with csw in there and all these things he also has tabs at the bottom that i think you can't see right now there you go i'll ask colin to put one more so that i can do tomorrow's starters um i will also be checking in i uh, i don't know if this i gotta confirm this because if you guys don't have uh roto wire i uh, actually i have it here i think um this is so worth your time um oh this is interesting so they're they're doing that but they I guess they haven't postponed and done it here so i don't know if it's going to go here that's what they're saying uh but this is like the greatest thing ever this is rotowire it's worth the price of admission if you guys want um to know uh i don't care i don't do not include that no just make it smaller um it's unbelievably helpful they do so much good work of putting this schedule together so if you guys want to be up to date on who's starting and when rotowire's projected starters is absolutely incredible they put so much work into it and it's amazing so just just to let you know uh, i I've, I've obviously paid for this and you guys should too so i'm here just to confirm it uh we have pablo lopez sensatella heaney luzardo okay yeah i uh, this looks right to me christian javier yep 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 Centella, Cueto. This all looks right. Yarbrough, though. Yeah, Yarbrough. Cueto, yep. Kikuchi, yep. Snell, yep. Uh, Luzardo, yep. Yep. Bauer, yep. Heaney, yep. Just want to... This is me just double-checking. Okay, cool. So, I am going to put a question mark of... Um, I gotta go back to this. Get rid of y'all because you're done. Um, then I do this. And I'm going to add a question mark of John Means. Uh, Nathan Rivaldi. Oh, yeah, you guys can't see it. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, I just in case if they are starting, I'll put that there. So it's cool. I have the auto start. Oh, hmm. Uh, questionable start. Do not start. I uh, okay, and then I got to put their opponents in, which is kind of annoying because it's not in this right now. But I can probably ask Colin to to make it easier because he's the best that's Colin Charles by the way I absolutely love the man um, TBR uh, LAD oh, this is actually not so bad because I can just go down like this if I do it right um, and then it's going to be This is at boss, and then this is right. Is it in Baltimore or Boston? Which one was it? It was at Boston. Okay, cool. So, pretty simple stuff. It doesn't matter that the text is any different. It's in Boston. I appreciate you. Did you mean? Did you see that Paxton and Kikuchi swap spots? Oh, that is very interesting. I just saw that. Yeah. Very, very good call there. Uh, yeah, that's, that is very interesting. Okay, so auto start land. It's up here. Um, anyone else in auto start land? No. That's it. Just, just you three. So we're going to... I mean, this doesn't matter right now because it's going to auto fill. Uh, probably start would be you and you 
Um, and you, this is better. I mean, I kind of want to say auto start for Jesus Lazardo, but that is not an easy matchup. Um, I think this is fine. This is way better for Kikuchi. My God, me being like, no Kikuchi, worse schedule. All of a sudden, now he's getting this. It's like, why do I do what I do, man? <laughs> why do I even try? Oh, this is ADP, no, it's SDP. Uh, Christian Javier is a questionable. This is a probably questionable Christian Javier. Um, no. John Means is a questionable. Baltimore is a questionable. No, this is a probable. I'd probably do. If I had, if yeah, if I had Evaldi. Whoops. This is here. It's questionable. Um, no, do not start these guys here. I understand it's Seattle. I understand it's, these are, these are atrocities. Cool. Oh, I gotta go like, oh, that's annoying. Actually, no, I'll just, this is fine. I'll just do this. And then, uh, you go like this, you go like, wait, hold on. Uh, what's, what's the most efficient way of doing this? One, two, three. There's always going to be three back. So one, two, three. Um, one, two, three. Okay. Cool. Then we make a table again. This is tomorrow's. Oh, that's not how you spell questionable, Nick. <laughs> um, we're going to make gray. Do I like this? I feel good about it. Uh, who is a streamer of this? I think Kikuchi is not rostered. Enough, or is, is it rostered enough that I can't? Oh, he is 19. Look at that. Boom. It's Kikuchi. <clears throat> Man, that's sneaky. Uh, and then... Do I like that? Yeah, okay. That's fine. Um... Yep, this looks good to me. Journey HTML. Stick that in here. And that's it. We're done. So, I mean, what I need to do now is, this, is the boring stuff, which is like the notes. But I'm not going to... I figure with these streams, like it's probably better if I just kind of get quiet and, and write that. Um... Nick the Coder. Hey, I look, I built the WordPress sites all the way up to 5.0. Uh, computer science minor. I understand what div codes and how to do CSS. And I've sent the devs be like, hey, change the CSS. I've given you the code. But yeah, I, I don't like coding. No, there is no coding stream. I'm not doing that. <laughs> I don't do it. <laughs> Big brain Excel movements. Oh, yeah, it's all just control X. It's just a lot of control. I'm not that good at Excel. It's just, I know like the, um, you pull down, like essentially if it sees a pattern, you can assess it to all the cells quickly just by dragging it, which I discovered because I figured there was an easy way to do those ranking numbers without me actually typing it in every time. I, uh, but yeah, just a lot of control X, I uh, control V that is cut and paste. Um, uh, what's up Pista? Remember I told you about Darvish before he was a thing. Man, that must have been... When was that? When did you interview with me? Because I started picture gifts after Darvish was a thing. In Discord like two years ago. Well, I'm glad that it worked out. I'm glad he uh, he, he fixed his stuff. So, I. Uh, are you still in the Discord now, Pista? I was so nervous. Aw, oh, don't be nervous, man. Like, <laughs> I'm just a person... <laughs> All of us are, man. We're just humans. Uh, you should never be, never be nervous. Um, but anyway, guys, that is is gonna do it for this stream. It's just coming across ten o'clock. Essentially, I, I take the, I, uh, I like this, I like this flow of like, you guys get to see what the streamer picks are, um, and as I make them, and you can ask any questions about it. 
Index match and if statements in conditional formatting. Oh boy, I have not done any of that stuff. Conditional formatting, I think I understand more so. But I, uh, but yeah, I don't do any of that stuff in Excel. Literally, I'm just doing it to move things around quickly. Um, but I, but yeah, uh, this is how it's going to be. Essentially, I'm going to make those two tables, um, and then I'm going to just write the notes for them, um, which are pretty pretty straightforward. Uh, but I'm not going to bore you guys on the stream with this. But yeah, keep asking all the questions, all that kind of stuff. I will see you guys at one o'clock today. I'll see you also tomorrow morning for the lovely daily stream at eight thirty. So. Happy baseball. Thanks for being here today. And uh, yeah, enjoy opening day. Thanks for being here. Good to see you guys. See you next time. See you, see you in like three hours. All right. <laughs>